Yo, what's up guys, I'm Sam, and today I wanna to tell you guys about Tesla's V10 software that is planned for release as early as next month, or this month when you're watching this, in August of 2019. We're hearing YouTube and Netflix streaming finally on the way, improvements to autopilot on the highway, Cuphead, and other games coming to the Tesla, and so much more cool stuff. So I wanna run down the full list of everything we are expecting to see coming to your Tesla, and again, just about under a month. If you guys are excited for that, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more Tesla and EV videos, and EV videos, that sounds funny. Let's go ahead and jump in. So without question, guys, the number one feature on this list is in-car streaming. YouTube and Netflix are both gonna finally be unlocked. Now you guys know forever if you've owned a Tesla, you can actually go to the websites and it, it almost teases you. It's like, hey, we have all this content here, you wanna watch it, and then it turns out when you tap on something, the playback is not actually enabled on the in-car web browser until now because Elon has confirmed this one and I'll leave sources to everything I talk about in this video down below. But this is one of those that the first time I went to charge and then I went to youtube.com and I tapped on a video I got sad about because I was like, all right, well now I've just, I've got these 30 minutes to do nothing. That is not gonna be the case any longer because in addition to YouTube and Netflix streaming while stationary, it is actually gonna be uh, enabled while the car is moving once full self-driving is approved and all that regulatory stuff is taken care of which is an insane concept. But in the meantime, while stationary, Tesla's also working to introduce some new infotainment features and a couple of new games. One of those games that is confirmed is Cuphead. This is an insanely hard game. Tesla just added chess the other day. Now Cuphead is coming and they've hinted that more games are definitely on the way. I mean, there's even been talk of maybe one day like a Tesla app store. So you get to pick what comes in your car and, and what doesn't and developers potentially making apps and games for the Tesla, like an open platform, it, that would be incredible. But right now there's still some baby steps on the way uh, and Cuphead is gonna be cool to again play while you are charging. Next step for autopilot, I think it's what makes the car worth it over the EV functionality, over the performance, over the luxury aspect, like how it just feels to sit in one. I mean, autopilot has, it's changed my experience of road tripping. Well, with V10, Tesla is planning to introduce improvements to autopilot on the highway. I'm hoping that like the ghost car detection issue goes away that I've been having just where like I try to change lanes automatically and then it thinks that there's a car next to me when the lane is completely open. I also know navigate on autopilot is still very rough around the edges. When it works, it works and it'll take you on your different exchanges and expressways. It's amazing. When it doesn't, it can make you run a couple minutes late for your commute. So improvements there are on the way. We just don't know exactly what and where because Elon hasn't been super specific about that. He has said though that autopilot, whenever it's engaged, your car is gonna be able to detect stop lights and stop signs and in general traffic stuff better. Um, now this is especially handy on city streets and Tesla has said that later in 2019, the car will be able to respond to these automatically. So I don't know if Elon is saying that like the near full self-driving capability is coming in V10, like next month. I don't think it is. I, I feel like that's definitely not ready just yet or if just improvements to where like your car could maybe suggest if you wanted to stop uh, and you're like three quarters away there, but not all the way there yet for self-driving on city streets. It's gonna be dope when it comes out though. In sort of completing this trio for autopilot features, I mean, this one is technically full autonomous uh, and that is Smart Summon. That's the feature where you're gonna be at the front of a store, maybe you just went grocery shopping. You're gonna be able to summon your car to pull out of its spot go through the parking lot, stop for anything that gets in its way, back up or change, you know, size of the road if it needs to, and pick you up in the front of a store without any driver intervention. Now, Tesla's delayed this time in time in time again because, you know, when a car's driving itself with nobody inside, maybe you don't want it to make any mistakes. So I think everybody who drives a Tesla gets why it has taken so long. And even when I've seen it in action, it's pretty slow and pretty sluggish, but apparently the jumps uh, that the autopilot or full autonomy team has made with Smart Summon have been very dramatic uh, and very good. So that is said to be coming as well to the rollout of the whole fleet in this release if your car supports uh, Smart Summon, which is gonna be insane. Like Teslas are gonna be driving themselves to pick people up. It's gonna be the beginning of when nobody's driving Teslas and they're just driving themselves everywhere and it is gonna be real spooky, but real cool. Next up, if you get text messages while driving, you are gonna be able to respond to them via voice. Uh, it's a little sketchy right now, so I, I assume there are some improvements coming, but if there's one part of the car that Tesla really needs to focus on, it's the voice commands. You can basically only call someone now or, or ask them to shuffle music 
or take you somewhere, but it actually doesn't detect your voice that well, nine times out of 10 in my experience, and it's just generally a bit buggy. But that being said, it's gonna be working a little bit better because you're gonna be able to talk to people and respond and hear text messages. It'll read you on it, you can reply to it through your voice without having to take your eyes off the road if you are in a case, for example, where it's not safe in any capacity to look at your phone, like off of autopilot. This final feature we heard about a long time ago, we really haven't heard about it recently, and that is carpool karaoke or just car karaoke in general, where like lyrics will pop up on the screen and everybody in the car can sing along it together. It's gonna be one of those fun little gimmicky Tesla features that is fun to show people with not a ton of practical application, like Smart Summit, that, that's practical. It could actually pick you up, that's super cool. Uh, you know, carpool karaoke, slightly less cool in my opinion. I'm just throwing that out there, guys. I'm just being honest with you. That was something that was teased, I think, like about a year ago, and then we haven't heard much since. But it could very well be coming to your Tesla in less than one month. Now, we know how timelines go, all right? We don't need to act like we're gonna be a little shocked here if it's delayed. It very well could be pushed back until September, October, or November of 27 or 2019. But also, I feel like Tesla's sort of been improving on their timeline. So maybe after all, we will see the wide rollout as Elon has suggested in August of 2019. Now, whether or not the interface will see huge revamps, whether or not it's gonna look a little bit different, that's unclear. We have not seen any software leaks just yet, but hit like if you're excited for those when they come and hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any more news. I'll keep you guys updated from here on out through the, the Tesla V10 rollout because the feature list is looking very, very substantial. So I cannot wait to test all these features out. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, it does help me out if you guys drop a like, hit subscribe for more of this in the future. Um, that's all for now. Let me know what you think about Tesla's V10 software update coming very shortly. Uh, let me know what you think about that down below. That's all for now. I'm Sam. I'll catch you all in the next video.